Hi guys, today we'll be showing you how to use basic shortcuts for Final Cut Pro for beginners. These shortcuts are very important. If you know how to use these shortcuts, it will make your video editing much faster than before. So the first uh, shortcut is what we call copy and paste. This copy and paste shortcut is similar to other copy and paste, like in other like in documents, you copy and paste, you use command C and command V. In Final Cut Pro, it's the same. You use command C and command V. Command C for copy, command V for paste. So let me show you real quick here. So I have this one, this is image. Now I click command C, I want to paste it here. You just like where you want to paste. And you paste. So this is a uh, copy and paste. Next, what we call cut. Again, it's similar to when we use in document, typing document, you want to cut some parts of the sentence. You do the same here. To cut it, you, you use command X. So again, I want to use this part. I want to cut it and I want to paste it here again you click command X to cut and to paste you need to click command V now if I look at this clip and I want I want to blade it or in other words I want to trim it like this clip is too long I want to trim it just click on the clip and you click command B when you click command B it will trim on the place where you click on on this line here it will trim here so where you want to trim just click there make sure you don't forget to click on the, the clip as well and you click command B and if you want to delete this part just click delete it's gone another way to trim it faster you just use just click on your keyboard letter R you click R it will activate what we call range selection range selection will work for the picture like when you want to add picture onto your video like this part you don't want it just click R and then you can select and if for example this part you want to delete you just click delete and it's gone what happens if you click on the video you can select on the video and it would be the same next I want to show you the next shortcut is called undo change we use command Z for example like you make mistakes you want to undo what you have changed you want it back to to the way it was before you just click command Z and this one is back so what if you want to redo the change like first you decide that you don't want it and then you want it again how would you do it if you already undo the change you can redo the change by clicking command shift and z you see when you click command shift and z what you have changed earlier and then you want it back that way before it will be back so command z you undo the change command shift z you redo the change the next shortcut is what we call select all clips so for example like all these clips you want to select all of them for example you want to select because you want to delete all of them in just one blow you just click command a command letter a and it will select all the clips on this project so it will save a lot of time here yeah, you don't have to do like this you just click command a it will select all for you the next shortcut is what happens if you want to disable something? For example, like, I play the music. And I find the music is annoying and I want to disable the music. I want to be quiet. So you just click V. It will disable the music. So no music. And if you want to enable it again, just click on it. Click V. It will enable the music this will work with anything any any clip that you want to disable for a while if you think like you find that clip like will disturb the other clip you just click on that clip click we again if you want to enable it click we the next shortcut is when you want to add basic title to your project or to your video so to, to add a title a basic title you click ctrl t here so you will add a title so here you can see i have a title here you can add a title like 
testing increase the title put it somewhere here so so this is the way you can add quick basic title just click Control T next if you want to add what we call default transition between clips you have to click on the clip and you have to click command T just click create here they add the transition for you it would be quick for you if like you don't want any special transition you want a default transition you just click command T next if for example like you want to see the property or you want to see the resolution of your project so that you want to increase or decrease the, the size of the screen resolution for your project you can click command J here when you click command J it will show the, the current screen resolution for your video so my video is 2048 by 1556 and it's it runs at 30 frames per second just in case you want to change that you can see the word modify here click on that you can rename the project title you can change it to 4k or whatever you can change the screen resolution as well so if you want the screen to fit and you want to change it to the, your own way you just click custom here you click custom it means you want the screen resolution to be the way you want it to be so after you change that, click OK, it, it will change the screen resolution for you. Next, if you want to import files to your project, we have another shortcut. You have to click Command I, Command letter I. It will, it will bring you this page. You can add anything you want. For example, I want to add another music here. Click Import Selected. What if you want to play your current video to see how your editing is? To play it, you just click Space Bar. You click it once. play and you click it again it will pause so play and pause you click space bar if you want to save for example after all of your project is done you want to save it in other words you want to export or share in Final Cut Pro we don't say export file or save file as but you have a feature called share in share you can share it as here there's not about export or save as you can share it as dvd file or master file and so on but most likely people choose uh, shared as master file so this is you click it you may spend more time on this by clicking that but there is a quicker way by using shortcut you just click command e when you click command e it will choose to share as master file and you click setting here and you also have to be careful make sure you select H.264 you don't select that your video would be too big some video would be like 10 or 20 gigabytes so don't forget to click this before you save now then you click next you can also rename the title here you can change the name of the creator you can change the name of the project okay? and then you click next and now they ask you to type in save as what file you want to save I say I save as test and you select where you want to save it to click save now it's saving but you don't see the background tasks you want to see how many percent have it saved so far you want to see that see the background tasks you click command number nine here command number nine you will see the background tasks you can see it's saving here once it reached 100 percent your file is complete you can use your video and also something important as well this is a shortcut that you, you should not miss i told you earlier if you want to use range selection you click or you see it look like a battery here you can select that what if you want to change it to normal select if you want to change it to normal select you click a here normal select normal select you cannot do like uh, the range select in fact it is here we have select click a here trim t p position range selection blade but you can use shortcut is faster and what happened if you want to like your video you want to make it run faster because you don't want your audience to wait too long how would you do that like 10 times faster or eight times faster just click on that video and you click it here this one and you can see here you say fast how fast you want it to be so like you want it eight times faster than before click there it will shorten if you play it 
you see it run fast and if you want it even faster than that you just click customized you don't click here because they have 2 4 8 20 what if you want it to be 10 you want it to be 10 times faster or 30 times faster you just click customized here you just type in how much faster you want it to be like you want it to be 30 times faster enter now here the video this video is 30 times faster let's see okay. see so this is how you can uh, make it faster and to crop the video to crop the image of the video there are two places that you can do one is here crop or you can click transform or you can click it here transform crop it's up to you so that's it guys these are tips for how to use basic shortcuts to make your video editing in Final Cut Pro much faster. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please click like, comment and subscribe for more useful video in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.